I really messed up. Really, really, really messed up. I'm very annoyed with myself. This is my angry face. <laughs> Okay, so it's 6.53 in the morning. It is Friday the 3rd of September. I've deflated my air mattress to get me moving, get me out of bed. But I've just been doing a bit of reading on the Pilgrim's Way because I wanted to try and finish in London on Saturday. And I was thinking, I just don't know how I'm going to get these miles in. And I thought I was going to Rochester. And then I was looking at the at the picture of the map. And I was like, hold on. So this is, this is the map. So this is Winchester. That goes all the way down to Canterbury. There's this 11A, Peter's Village to Rochester, which is an added four and a half miles. I don't need to do that because that's an offshoot. So I'm suddenly like, boom, that makes it much easier for me to get to London, potentially on the Saturday. I'm still planning on Sunday, but maybe Saturday. I'm gonna see how I get on today. Today's the, the big day, basically. I'm gonna get moving, let's get everything packed up, have some breakfast, and yeah, let's go. So, I'm all packed up. Shall we see what time it is? Okay, do you know what? Not too bad, 7.28 in the morning. Okay, so leaving by 7.30. I'm pretty impressed. I'm heading um, towards Kempsing. The road is just behind this hedge, and then this is the path to the left of it. Um, if you're following along by the guidebook, I'm currently on page 104, where it says, um, uh, la, 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 stay on the grass until it rejoins the road. Opposite is white beam close. So I stayed on the grass, and then just opposite, you can see the sign. So I'm walking on the road. But I can also see this footpath there. And I'm wondering if I should be walking on that footpath. Oh, sod it, I'm gonna go on the footpath. We'll see where this takes us. Rotham is where I'm headed. Two and a half miles down the road. This is a useful sign. I've walked from Kemsing and it's been three and a quarter miles. I'm just going to cross over this road on a diagonal and join the next path. Obviously stop, look and listen and let's continue on. Pilgrim's Way and then we pass Butts, Butts Hill Cottage and we carry along down here. I have finished stage nine of the guidebook, Oxford to Rotham. So basically it finishes here by the recycling point. Signpost here, so you can see the arrows for the North Downs Way. You can also see um, the Acorn, where it gives you directions to get to Borough, Green and Rotham Station. So all of the end stage points, if there's there, there is directions like to train stations, public transport, etc. If that if you're doing it section by section. So we are moving on to stage 10, Rotham to Halling. I'll just go ahead then. Sorry sheep. Oh We are just passing Pilgrim's House and it is a very nice house. Pilgrim's House, homemade preserves for sale at Trottis Cliff Church. Okay, so we carry on passing. Do you know what I need is I need some water. So I might be able to, fingers crossed, refill at the church. Egg sandwich and a packet of hula hoops. Whoop, whoop. A nice little shell. Mark the Pilgrim's Way. This section properly feels like the Pilgrim's Way. I don't know if it's because of the type of path that it is, you know, very old school. It's the fact that we're surrounded in the woods and you can look out and occasionally see, occasionally see glimpses of the fields, for example, like this little section. It just feels as though this could be any point in history. So it's quite a privilege to be out on the Pilgrim's Way, you know, recreating this walk that thousands of pilgrims have done before. So I keep finding food on the trail and I keep picking it up and wanting to eat it, but I don't think there's a problem with eating it. So I just found um, caffeine bullet dropped on the trail 
and there's two little sweets in there. So I think, sod it, let's, let's have them. This is spectacular. Very, very beautiful. And this is a lovely path to walk on. It's very gentle on your feet, which is nice. Hello, views. Woo. My latest find on the trail is some antimicrobial hand wipes. So, there's a little fly on it. Um, I'll definitely use these. Next job on my list is to get water, but I am coming up to the high street, so hopefully I'll be able to find like a little cafe or something. So I just asked the local bakery and they very kindly are refilling my water pack. How lovely is that? So let's give them a shout out. Billy's I love it when people are kind. It really makes you super happy. So I have made a massive navigational error because I'm now in Snodland. Although there's some very pretty churches and I've had my water refilled up, so it's all good. Oh, that is so cool. I really messed up. Really, really, really messed up. I'm very annoyed with myself. This is my angry face. <laughs> I've had to resort to Google Maps, Maps because I'm so far off. The guidebook doesn't have anything on it because I'm just nowhere near the friggin' Pilgrim's Trail. Google is sending me via the dual carriageway and obviously I'm walking. But legally, I don't know if you're allowed to walk by the side of a dual carriageway. Like, is that allowed? I think I've made the wise decision. I don't think it was good for me to be walking by the side of a dual carriageway. There's literally no pavement, there's no side of the road. I'm literally walking past cars going 70, 80 miles per hour. That's the bridge. So I'm now on the other side of the bridge, oh, which is a massive relief. So uh, it's only 1.30. So right, let's get back on the Pilgrim's Trail and sort this out. This is what we want to see. Burnham Church right there. We are back team. Let's go and see if we can get a Pilgrim's stand. Please ensure you shut the outer doors to prevent birds entering the church and dying. Oh, of course we'll shut the doors. Please, we're burning it and stuck inside. Right, fingers crossed, it's open. Oh. It's very cool in here. So this is the church. And I'd expect to see a stamp here. I don't think we're gonna get a stamp. Oof. Gutted, I really thought I was gonna get a stamp in here because it was open. Um, oh well, let's carry on. I'm on page 119 of the guidebook, so I've just passed the solar farm on the right-hand side, pass a pile on to the right, and then You'll soon bend left by a danger deep water notice. Danger deep water notice. Um, pass another pylon. Stay on the narrow single file path around sometimes flooded area. The path makes a sharp right turn before passing through a gateway by Morlow Bollard. So carry on down that way. And it is about a mile and a quarter to get to Aylesford. Woo! It's 3.02, 20,600 steps. This is St. Peter and St. Paul's Church at Islesford. Wow. Yeah. Do not enter, do not pass go, do not collect a pilgrim stamp. So I'm on page 121 on my guidebook and I've reached the, the parish church. So now in... Um, now I move on to stage 12. Walking up Mount Pleasant. We have got the mid-Victorian cottages on the left and on the right a medieval stone doorway which has been moved from the church. Okay. So I just had quite a scary experience. I'm like walking through this farm and there's two ladies with dogs. One of them has like a, a Rottweiler. Nothing, I don't have anything against dogs. But because of my poles, which are like under my arm, the dog started going 
frigging crazy, like really coming up to me, barking like crazy. And I was, I was actually starting to get really upset. I've got tears in my eyes right now. And I had to say to Lily, I'm sorry, can you put your dog on a lead? Like, I'm really scared at the moment because I thought the dog was going to properly go for me. And she was just like, she didn't even apologise. Well, he's just being protective. It's like, I understand the dog is being protected, but you need to put him on the lead and control your frigging dog. Oh, ran over. Anyway. <laughs> my God, I get a little bit ranty sometimes, don't I? The, um, I want to say Euro Tunnel, Eurostar. Yeah, uh, the Channel Tunnel High Speed Railway. A very intricate carving, holding a spear on the right hand side. Oh, there's even a his thumb. Yeah. Wayside carving near White Horse Stone, page 131 in the guide. Let's take a photo. 5.20 in the evening, the sun is behind me, walking through all these very cool vineyards. Welcome to Boxley. Ta -da! And there's the church, just down there. I'm gonna make my way to the church to see if we can get a pilgrim stamp. <laughs> Well, this is a nice sign. Wherever you're from, wherever you're going, you're welcome here. Oh, that's so cute. Well, let's go. Obviously not welcome today. Right. So another failure by me. Ah, okay, let's uh, go sit on a bench. Oh, the bench right there and reread my guide and see where to next. You can see how unelegant oh, I am when it comes to getting over style, especially when your feet hurt and your hands full with poles and oh, and horses! Oh, look, hello, horses! It's now up a very steep flight of stairs to reach a very, very busy road. There's a little story about the bridge ahead. The bridge ahead is called Jade's Crossing. And the footbridge was opened in 2002 and it's named after Jade Hobbs who with her grandmother was killed crossing the road in 2000. Oh god isn't that awful. Oh it's just so sad when you hear stories like that. People lost their lives and, and they campaigned for over 20 years to get this bridge, bridge built. Like it should just be an automatic shouldn't it? I'm not gonna lie I almost missed this one. So, uh, to a junction with Hocker's Lane, but the church link path continues on the left at a telegraph pole. So here's the telegraph pole. You can see the um, apron. It's very difficult to see. But this is the, well, I hope it is. I mean, it makes the most logical sense. This is the passageway down here. Okay, let's see where this leads to. Oh, isn't this exciting? Okay. We're looking for kissing gates. Three. 